Betelgeuse is so big that if you were to place it in our own solar system... Looking on the horizon and sunrise is half the sky. Okay, that would be terrifying. Supernovas are a big, giant, dramatic end to a star's life. Throughout the history of humanity's fascination with the night sky and celestial objects, Betelgeuse has consistently been one of the most prominent stars. This red giant, a part of the Orion constellation, has drawn attention thanks to its distinctive red colour and rhythmic pulsations. However, new research approaches, combined with the star's increasingly unpredictable behaviour, indicate that Betelgeuse's supernova explosion could happen much sooner than anticipated. Notably, Neil deGrasse Tyson, the director of the Hayden Planetarium in New York, has called upon amateur astronomers to closely monitor Betelgeuse's brightness. These factors have brought to the forefront questions about Betelgeuse's fate and its ultimate cosmic destiny. So in this video, we will delve into the science and new research perspectives that indicate a forthcoming Betelgeuse supernova explosion, an event that promises to illuminate the night sky worldwide. Betelgeuse, officially known as Alpha Orionis, is an astronomical giant with a mass estimated to be at least 10 times that of our Sun and potentially up to 20 times more massive. To put its immense size in perspective, if Betelgeuse were located within our solar system, its fiery gases would extend out to engulf everything up to the orbit of Jupiter. Positioned approximately 640 light years away from Earth, Betelgeuse resides within the Orion constellation. Due to its substantial size and distinctive appearance, it is easily observable with the naked eye. Observers need only gaze in the direction of the Orion constellation, especially during the months spanning from September to March, to witness Betelgeuse as a prominent reddish celestial object in the sky. While some may perceive Betelgeuse as just another star, scientists regard it as a celestial wonder. For a considerable time, this star has exhibited a unique phenomenon known as pulsations, akin to the rhythmic beating of a human heart when pumping blood. Such pulsation behaviour is not typical for stars, making Betelgeuse a perplexing cosmic entity for researchers. Initially, its massive size and orange hue drew attention, but it was its irregular and enigmatic pulsations that truly fascinated scientists. Betelgeuse has been recognised for its tendency to expand and contract unpredictably, accompanied by fluctuations in brightness. What adds to the intrigue is that these pulsation patterns within Betelgeuse are not constant, they undergo continuous changes. Scientists have meticulously observed various cycles in Betelgeuse's behaviour, with periods of 185, 230, 420 and 2200 days, among other peculiar patterns. In 2019, the star underwent a rather unnerving episode known as the Great Dimming, which occurred during the latter part of 2019 and the early months of 2020. Following this significant event, Betelgeuse's behaviour has become even more unpredictable. One of the notable characteristics of Betelgeuse is its variability in brightness. At times it becomes brilliantly radiant, ascending to become the brightest star in the night sky, while in other instances it dims, descending the list of the cosmos's brightest stars. These fluctuations in luminosity are far from being consistent, varying over durations that can span from several days to several months. These shifts in Betelgeuse's brightness have been found to follow distinctive cycles, ranging from the shortest cycle lasting about 185 days to the longest cycle extending up to 2,335 days. To comprehend the origin of these erratic illuminations and dimmings, one must delve into the star's core. Stars, in essence, function as nature's nuclear reactors. Everything from the heat they emit to the radiant light they produce is the result of nuclear reactions transpiring within their cores. It's a captivating process through which stars generate their own energy, heat and light. Large stars like Betelgeuse undergo a more rapid consumption of hydrogen in their cores compared to smaller stars. However, the substantial fluctuations in Betelgeuse's brightness are not solely a product of its core reactions. They are also influenced by surface conditions. 
Typically, Betelgeuse boasts a relatively cool surface temperature, hovering around 3,500 Kelvin on any given day. This cooler surface temperature contributes to its diminished brightness, making it appear less luminous than expected. What also makes Betelgeuse's brightness variations and pulsations particularly intriguing is the star's advanced stage in its life cycle. It has long been classified as a dying star on the brink of going supernova. Red giants like Betelgeuse are distinct from other stars in the cosmos, with their distinctive orange or red hue signifying the start of helium burning in their cores. In the life cycle of a star, it initiates with the nuclear fusion of hydrogen in its core, leading to the production of heat and light. However, as the star progresses in age, it depletes its hydrogen reserves and proceeds to burn helium and subsequently heavier elements such as carbon and silicon. This evolutionary process manifests visibly in stars, causing them to expand in size and undergo alterations in colour. Our own sun, for instance, was once a blue star, but has transitioned into an orange star as it continues to age. Ultimately, it will resemble Betelgeuse as a red giant. In recent years, Betelgeuse's pulsations have exhibited an increasing level of irregularity and unpredictability, challenging the previously established models that astronomers had relied upon to understand its behaviour. Following meticulous investigations, including observations made using the Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories, scientists made a significant discovery. Betelgeuse had experienced a dramatic event where a substantial portion of its surface mass was expelled into the surrounding space. This event was classified as a surface mass ejection, SME. The surface mass ejection resulted in the formation of a cold patch or dust clump on the star's surface, obscuring our direct view of Betelgeuse and causing it to appear dimmer than its usual brightness. This unexpected phenomenon came to be known as the Great Dimming and garnered global attention from scientists and experts. Many were concerned that this event might be a precursor to Betelgeuse going supernova, but ultimately the star did not explode. Instead, it gradually regained its usual brightness. However, the pulsation patterns of Betelgeuse have not returned to their previous regularity since the occurrence of the Great Dimming event. Morgan McLeod, an astrophysicist from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, recently published a paper that brought significant insights into the evolving behavior of Betelgeuse. McLeod's research revealed that the well-established 400-day pulsation cycle of Betelgeuse had undergone a dramatic change, halving to a 200-day cycle. His work suggested that the surface mass ejection responsible for the great dimming event likely resulted from a convective plume within Betelgeuse that had risen and caused a portion of the star's material to detach. This upwelling process also disrupted the star's typical 400-day pulsation cycle, leading to the observed 200-day cycle. McLeod's research findings were met with broad acceptance within the scientific community as they offered a plausible explanation for the unusual dimming and altered pulsation cycle of Betelgeuse. Nonetheless, the evolving behaviour of Betelgeuse has raised questions about whether it is on the verge of going supernova. While previous cosmic models suggested the star could continue its life for hundreds of thousands of years before undergoing a supernova event, recent research, as predicted by experts like Neil deGrasse Tyson, indicates that Betelgeuse may indeed go supernova much sooner than anticipated. Betelgeuse's transformation from an orange star to a red giant over approximately 2,000 years has raised concerns among astronomers due to the unusually rapid rate at which it appears to be burning helium in its core. This accelerated helium burning process is not in line with conventional astronomical models. Edward Guinan, an astronomer at Pennsylvania's Villanova University said, this star always fools you. You think you have it and all of a sudden it changes. The deceptive nature of Betelgeuse has convinced many experts to prepare for the worst. In addition to this, a forthcoming study which has not yet been published suggests that Betelgeuse is in the late stages of its life cycle. During these stages, the helium burning process accelerates significantly. Given the star's previous transition from yellow to red, it is now speculated that it could take just a few decades for Betelgeuse to progress from being a red giant to undergoing a catastrophic supernova event. This research, led by astronomer Hideyuki Seo, implies that Betelgeuse may already be nearing the end of its carbon burning phase. 
while some experts propose that Betelgeuse might still have several thousand years left in its life cycle, a considerable portion of the scientific community believes that it is only a matter of time before Betelgeuse reaches the point of explosion as a supernova. Supernovas mark the end of a star's life because of the intricate processes at work within stars. Stars are constantly trying to strike a balance between the immense gravitational forces that attempt to crush them and the energy generated in their cores. As stars consume their nuclear fuel, such as hydrogen, they produce less energy. Consequently, the star's core begins to compress due to the force of gravity. This compression results in a dramatic increase in pressure and temperature, facilitating the creation of heavier elements like carbon and iron. Ultimately, a point is reached where the star can no longer withstand the pressure caused by these heavy elements accumulating in its core. This leads to a catastrophic collapse, culminating in a supernova explosion. During this event, the iron and other heavy metals formed in the star's core are expelled into the surrounding space as tiny particles. The explosion of Betelgeuse, when it eventually occurs, is expected to have several noticeable effects on Earth. One of the most prominent effects would be a sudden and dramatic increase in the brightness of our skies. Experts in cosmology predict that the Betelgeuse supernova would become so luminous that it could outshine our own sun. This heightened brightness would be observable even during the daytime, effectively giving the appearance of two suns in the sky, our familiar sun and a brilliant light originating from the location of the Betelgeuse explosion in the constellation Orion. However, the impact of a supernova isn't limited to just the visual aspect. Supernovas release powerful shockwaves that can devastate anything in their path. Fortunately, given the considerable distance of Betelgeuse from Earth, approximately 640 light years away, experts believe that we would be safe from the direct physical effects of the blast. The destructive shockwave would not reach us. Yet there is a small but concerned segment of the scientific community that speculates on potential indirect effects. A Betelgeuse supernova could produce deadly gamma ray bursts, GRBs, high energy radiation events that can have far reaching consequences. If Earth were to be exposed to the impact of such radiation from Betelgeuse, it could severely damage our ozone layer, increasing our vulnerability to harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun. It's important to note that these predictions are based on our current understanding of astrophysics and the potential consequences of a supernova explosion. However, the cosmos is still full of mysteries and there is much we don't know. While the likelihood of a Betelgeuse supernova directly affecting us on Earth is considered low due to its distance, scientists continue to study and monitor this star to gain a deeper understanding of its behavior and its potential impact on our solar system.